Divang Valley, a district far east of Arunachal Pradesh, named after the river Divang or Talon, as the locals call it. It was on the news and on the social media quite recently. Well, I don't know about other reasons, but most importantly, it was there for the hydroelectric projects, or you can say the Italian dam project. Well, to tell you, the district of Divang Valley comprises of many other proposed dam construction. But I won't go into detail into that because this video tends to focus on the Italian hydroelectric projects. So hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Benjamin Pepitato and you are watching JPD videos for you. Well, before moving ahead to the video, let me tell you that this video was supposed to be uploaded several months ago. But you know, because of the corona and lockdown, I couldn't come out of the house. I couldn't meet the people and the people who were supposed to speak on the video, they were not ready. So this video is not good for you. तब भी आप देख लीजिए अगर फ्यूचर में जरूरत पड़ेगा तो आई विल डेफिनेटली कम अप विद दिस न्यू वीडियो एनीवे की पसंद आ वीडियो टिल द एंड कासी गाजा बापू मैं जाजिंजा डू यू मैं लोग या तू जाजिंजा वेल हेलो वंस अगेन बिफोर मूविंग अहेड टू द इटालियन डैम प्रोजेक्ट्स लेट मी हाइलाइट यू समथिंग अबाउट द दिवांग वैली First, it is the largest district in Arunachal Pradesh. Secondly, it is the Idu Mispi tribe who resides over the stretches of the Divang Valley district. Thirdly, it is the home to the Divang Wildlife Sanctuary, which also comprises of world's most endangered species, both flora and fauna. Fourth, it comprises of all the perennial rivers, which basically originates from the glaciated Himalayan mountains. And fifth, let's move on to the main topic. The Italian hydroelectric project it was actually a project of NHPC, which later on transferred the project to the Jindal in the year 2008. The Italian project is a runoff river project that will be using the water of Dri and Talon River. So basically, this is the Italian region, and this is Talon River, and this is Dri River. The diversion structure of Dri is located near Iron Village, which is 17 km from Italian. The powerhouse site is located near Italian Village, which is 185 km from Roing which is the district headquarter of Lower Devang Valley and the diversion structure of Talon River is near Avonli village which is 17 km from the Italian village and according to the report the standard methodology of the EIA which is the environment impact assessment was thoroughly preferred and followed for the proposed Italian project all those parameters like soil sampling the vegetation sampling the air environment etc everything were taken properly and now most importantly the Italian hydroelectric projects comprises of 3097 megawatt you can say it is one of the most largest dam in the state or maybe in northeastern as a whole well to tell you in the year 2014 there was public hearing for the proposed dam construction well sabko pata hi hai ki har cheez ka ek acha aur kharab hota hai right so when we talk about the positive impact of the italian dam construction especially for the locals first is the electricity the dam construction will provide free electricity to the locals. So the proper electricity supply will provide proper infrastructural development. So as we know, right now the Italian Valley lacks in the basic infrastructure development like hospitals, like education, etc. Next, the dam construction will provide empowerment to the society, employment to the youths, and skill to both the women and children and the youths. And most importantly, the fund generated from the dam construction will be used for the further development of the region and the district as a whole. Well, you can say even for the state as a whole. And now coming to the negative impact of the construction of dam, as we know that the dams have always been one of the most spectacular aspect of the contemporary infrastructure. So now this infrastructure of the human endeavor does not come up without a sacrifice. So kuch pani ke liye kuch kona bhi parta hai. So about the negative impact of the construction of dam, I think you know it better. But I will just highlight a few points. First, construction of dam will provide a negative impact on the aquatic life. So when we say aquatic life, there are lots of migratory species of fish in the river. So now, if the dam is being constructed over the runoff, so the fish will migrate aega, so they won't be able to come up because there is a dam. So basically, the regions which are located in the upstream, they might face the extinction of fishes in the near future. Secondly, the construction of dam will prove a negative impact on the biosphere. Well, this is what you all know. And thirdly, 
the most importantly, the disaster, the risk of disaster. As we know that our state of Nutra Pradesh lies in one of the most hot spots of the earthquake prone area. So, you know, the construction of them will definitely not just provide a danger for the local area, but also for the both the upstream and for the downstream. And the next point is the relocation of the villages. Because after the dam has been constructed, there will be a rise of water level. So when there is a rise of water level, the current village where, where they are, they will be submerged under the water. So they have to be relocated in the further higher area. Well, let me make it simple. First, the proposed dam has not been constructed yet. Secondly, no one has gone there and counted the number of trees, like 22 lakh trees will be cut off because it can be more and it can be less. And thirdly, the controversy can be divided into the people who accept the proposal of construction of dam and the people who oppose the construction of dam. So the people who accept the construction of dam comprises of the locals and youths. And the people who oppose the construction of dam, they comprise of the youths, the environmentalists, the collegians, and so on. So let us know what they have to say. Look, as a project affected family, I belong to that family. So first of all, I will say that we all have a special project. We have been supporting each other before. We should also support each other. We have been two years old. We have been in class drop. After the class drop, we couldn't do anything. After that, we have a project. After the project, we have a project. After the project, we have a project. After the project, हमको बाहर भेजा है तो स्किल ट्रेनिंग करने के लिए स्किल ट्रेनिंग करने के लिए हमको बाहर भेजा है तो स्किल तो उसमें से हमने मेरा हम जो हम सीखा है वो इलेक्ट्रिसियन सीखा है इलेक्ट्रिसियन सीख वन ईयर हम सीख गया है वन वन ईयर सीख आने का औरत है हम जो है अभी हम खुद का घर में हम वायरिंग खुद कर लेता है और दूसरा का में हम कर लेते हैं और जैसे कुछ टू का हमको पैसा देते हैं उसमें से हम छोटा मोटा कुछ कुछ करके हम कमा लेता है मेले ताई ना ऐतालिया की माची आवा प्रोजेक्ट के बना ले ये हमने प्रावधान ना ली निम्न हुआ जी आवा प्रोजेक्ट में जो भी अदला है ने इन्हों तंदो के इन्हीं ऐताय ची ना थमों ब्रो ऐताया टिका ची ना तो हम लोग जी का हम तो प्रोजेक्ट माची है तो हम लोग में तंदो आरुआ ना में तुझी आवा आई के बने प्रोजेक्ट नली जो आ हने प्रावधा वो जी आ हने ऐताइजा इमु जी आ हम लोग ऐताइजी सारा समुचा अरुणाचल का युवत वालों को मेरे मेरा यही मैसेज रहेगा ये इतना बड़ा प्रोजेक्ट है जिसमें जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी है और कंस्ट्रक्शन में इंवॉल्व होने का अपॉर्चुनिटी भी है और बाकी जो सर्विसेज का अपॉर्चुनिटी भी है जैसे हम खान पान का या जो भी स्टेशनरीज का सप्लाई वगैरह का ये मतलब डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज वहाँ पे है और जिसमें मैं ये कहूँगा कि पूरा अरुणाचल का जितने भी ट्राइब्स हैं वो हमारे पास आ जाइए क्योंकि अरुणाचल गवर्नमेंट और पावर डेवलपर के बीच में जो सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट का बीच में जो एग्री हुआ है उसमें 25 परसेंट एग्जीक्यूटिव पोस्ट जो है हमारा अरुणाचल का ट्राइबल्स रहेगा और 50 परसेंट जो है आपका स्किल पर्सन स्किल या अनस्किल पर्सन जो होगा वर्कर्स होगा वो फिफ्टी परसेंट है और बाकी जो एग्जीक्यूटिव पोस्ट है टेक्निकल पोस्ट है उसमें हंड्रेड परसेंट में से ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट हमारा लोकल को एकोमोडेट करेगा ये प्रोविजन है इसलिए मैं ये स्पेशल प्रोजेक्ट हमारा इटालियन वासियों और हमारा दिबांग बेली वासियों के लिए एक एक अच्छा भविष्य तय करेगा एक फ्यूचर इसमें है और दूसरा बात अभी तो का जो ये स्पेशल का चलते जो जिंदल पावर लिमिटेड ने हमारा लोगों के लिए कितना कंट्रीब्यूशन दिया है सोशली इकोनॉमिकली कितना कंट्रीब्यूशन दिया है 
उसके बारे में मैं कुछ बताना चाहूँगा देखिए हमारे चाहे हेल्थ सेक्टर में बोलिए चाहे एजुकेशन में बोलिए चाहे इकोनॉमी के लिए बोलिए बहुत सारा सपोर्ट एच का द्वारा अपना जो ये जे का जो एच का द्वारा बहुत ज़्यादा मदद किया है मदद मिला है हमारे वहाँ के लोगों को बहुत ज़्यादा बेनिफिट्स दिया दिया गया है और बहुत सारा फायदा मिला है एग्जांपल ले लीजिए हमारा जो एवरेस्टार हमारा जो नॉर्थ ईस्ट का जो फास्ट लेडी एवरेस्टार मिसेस तीन मैना को भी जिंदल पावर लिमिटेड द्वारा ही स्पॉन्सर्ड किया गया था और हमारे जितने भी जो स्कूल ड्रॉप आउट वहाँ पे जो स्टूडेंट यूथ थे उन सभी को अपना इंस्टीट्यूट में रायगढ़ अपने इंस्टीट्यूट में ले जा करके वहाँ में वोकेशनल ट्रेनिंग दिलाया और बहुत सारा जो स्कॉलरशिप किसी को इंजीनियरिंग स्कॉलरशिप का थ्रू मैंने इंजीनियरिंग पढ़ाया और किसी को नर्सिंग में हॉस्पिटलिटी में नर्सिंग में वो सारा चीज़ स्पॉन्सर्ड करा के दिया है और ये सारा चीज़ हम लोगों ने ये देखने के बाद में हम सब इस प्रोजेक्ट से बहुत इस ये प्रोजेक्ट प्रोपोनेंट से बहुत सेटिस्फाइड है इतना बड़ा रिवर है हम उस चीज़ को यूज़ नहीं कर रहे हैं पहली बात वहाँ पे ऐसा है कुछ भी नहीं है बहुत कुछ होती हुई ना कुछ भी नहीं किया ना तो प्रोजेक्ट डेवलपर्स आने चाहिए बड़ा बड़ा इन्वेस्टमेंट बाहर से आना चाहिए ताकि हम उसमें से कुछ टेक्निकल में वर्कर्स के रूप में इन्वॉल्व हो और कुछ आपका स्किल डेवलपमेंट स्किल पर्सन के रूप में और कुछ अन स्किल का रूप में ये सारा का सारा मैंने सब एकोमोडेट होने वाला है तो इसमें इतना बड़ा प्रोजेक्ट में इतना बड़ा एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटी हम लोग को जो है खोना नहीं चाहिए इसलिए जो है हम सारा अरुणाचल का ट्राइब्स के साथ मैंने हम विनती करता है कि आप प्रोजेक्ट के लिए सपोर्ट कीजिए आपका स्टेट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट का इकोनॉमी को बूस्ट अप करेगा क्योंकि इस प्रोजेक्ट में 27 परसेंट स्टेक होल्डर है स्टेट गवर्नमेंट फर्स्टली आई वांट टू से दैट रंगा नदी द रंगा नदी इज चेटेड इन द लोअर सुबनसरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट इट्स नियर पिताफुल टाउन इट्स कॉल पोर्टी थ्री सो स्टेटस ऑफ द रंगा नदी इज नाउ दैट इट इज इस्टाब्लिश इन नाउ Uh, 30 plus years, but there is a lack, lack of uh, employment generation, post generation for the local people. But having said that, it's not only that we don't have uh, the indigenous, the local area people don't get the job. They have now uh, some kind of facilities, jobs uh, in the Ranganadi area. And uh, the dam, uh, the dam of the Ranganadi area, what water flowing. In the downstream area, it's also complaining about that during the uh, uh, rainy season time or overflowed. But the managing team of this uh, Ranga Nadi, they have always tried to tackle this problem or try to solve this problem. Even they have also consent with the downstream people like Assam, uh, like Kimpur, all over. So what I mean here to say that is, uh, whatever project is coming in our state, like for example this uh, 400 mega, uh, 405 megawatt uh, project of Ranganadi, they have given us uh, indigenous people have the opportunity to get the financial support, basic amenities in that area, and uh, uh, lots of the facilities have given to them also, or like. It did, this type of the uh, uh, projects is really helpful for all of us. So in this particularly, I want to refer uh, Italian project, the dam, which is going to construct. And uh, most of the people of that indigenous or inhabitant people are supporting this, in our, my view. Why, why having said this? Because in that area, particularly in that segment area, people will get uh, job opportunities, financial supports, and this all. But, uh, but presumably, we having these things, we should not ignore the conservative of the environment. Uh, to understand the natural hazard risks in Dibang, we have to first understand the background about mountains in Arunachal Pradesh. The Pahads of Arunachal are continuously rising and eroding. 
these are natural processes in uh, such mountains because of rainfall and earthquakes, which means that not all mountains in Arunachal are stable. Uh, in addition, these mountains are made up of different types of rock layers. Uh, some rocks are fragile, some are extremely tough. For example, the rocks along the foothills of uh, Arunachal and Assam uh, are very fragile. But the Wang Valley project has estimated an approximately 12,000 numbers of laborers and influx of such a number of laborers uh, to this region will be creating a lot of uh, other STDs and other HIV diseases in the region. As the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic has reminded us that the destruction of tropical and subtropical forests can cause the spread of novel pathogens and parasites. Talking about the landslide in the Mishmi Hills, the landslide in the Mishmi Hills have recorded to be uh, at very high risk and the cutting of uh, mountains in large scale will only make it worse. And recently in the month of May, uh, an entire family was perished due to landslide. Well, about the Italian dam project, I could have provided further more detail, but we thought that if it will be video will be very long. So in near future, if there is need, then I might come back with the second part. Otherwise, I think it's enough. So thank you for visiting my channel. Thank you for watching my video. Take care. Stay safe. I will see you again in near future. Bye-bye.